everyone, it's Marcin McDill from Active TV Networks. It's the holiday season. We're doing our annual Christmas card for our newsletter, and I'm actually setting up a website that I can embed as part of the newsletter link. I wanted to embed a background audio file that plays when you come right to the website. I got a couple of sites opened up for you that I'm going to be copying code from. These are just tutorials to help any designer or anybody out there who knows some code and Dreamweaver to go and actually make their sites better. Today's tutorial is sponsored by Aloe. Okay, it's not sponsored, but this is really good stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah, so good. Just do it. It's got these little Aloe Vera flakes swimming in there and whatever. So first, let me just play uh, the background of this website, HeroFishingGoldReport.com. We built this for a client uh, about two years ago. If I refresh the website, you see that there's an MP3 file that plays every time somebody comes to the website. So, I move this money over here, and trade it for that money over there, and then move these funds... Wait a minute, whatever happened to investing in something real? Protect your money in real physical gold and silver bullion. Be in control of your money and the safety of your investment. No mutual funds, no stocks. Give precious metals their full attention, and that's to your advantage. Protect your money. It is worth the call. A quick chat will make you money. I did a view source on this page and I can see that there is something in here that's uh, playing and it's an SWF file but let me just do a test I copied the link to the SWF and I can paste it right from the root and we can see what this is so I move this right, money so over here and trade right. it for that money it's not an mp3 file it's a SWF so file. I move this so we want to replicate that on this website. So this is our ho 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 happy holidays uh, website. I wanted to play the uh, SWF for the MP3 file. I may need to open up and use Flash. We're gonna try and avoid that. Okay, so we're gonna try a couple of things. First, we want to get the file that we want to play as the background. So I found a, a really nice card. Let me play this. <laughs> Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. There's a tool that allows us to capture this particular SWF file. The tool that I'm referring to is called the SoThink Decompiler. They have a trial version, install the demo, and then if you like it, buy it. I do recommend it if you're using Flash in your web design and development. I think it's like 50, 60 bucks. Let me show you how this works. So once you install this uh, software on your computer, by default in your IE properties, it's called the SoThink SWF Catcher. The system knows if there's an SWF file embedded within the website. If there is, it allows you to actually save that and open it in its decompiler and then rip out any audio effects, any action script or any images or videos that that SWF has. But don't abuse it. Let's switch to our Merry Christmas and right click this and let's save it. A nice little pop up comes up telling us what the name of the SWF is. If you click it, it's going to preview it. So let's, let's save this. We'll just put it on our C drive. We'll save it. And now we're going to click decompiler. This will launch the second version of the software. And, and it's now previewing the SWF within this piece of software. If you click on here, this plus little sign, what it's doing now is it's finding all the elements that are inside that SWF. Because I don't want to export this as an FLA, which I could, and see how the entire SWF is put together. I'm only interested in exporting the audio file. So here you go. So if you click on this, this is what we want to save. And you can browse for the rest of the elements and just go right through it. If you really wanted to, you could just take this entire file and just replace the image with your image. And we may actually try to do that. But first we're going to export just the audio. So we click export the Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on top of the way, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing sleigh and song to play. Now it should have created a folder with that file name and exported the audio. 
there it is. Sound. And then if you preview this. That's how easy it is to export audio from a SWF file. So now that we have it, let's rename it and we'll call this Holiday 2010 MP3 since that's what it is. And we can see that it's half a meg, it's pretty big. But because people have broadband, we really shouldn't be bothered too much. Active TV networks. Now we're gonna post this on the root of our website, right next to our images, which are embedded as part of the website. Now I'm going to upload this to the internet. sure that this plays by giving it a link right here. MP3. Now because we're going to be mailing this out as a newsletter and embedding it into a constant contact or our email forms, we need to make sure that any images, videos and links have full paths. If we just do an absolute path or a relative path, it's not going to display or play when it's mailed out through the internet into somebody's email account. And at the same time, we would want to send attachments because that's going to make your email very large and more than likely people are not going to open images and videos and audio files because they're going to be afraid of spam or viruses. Let's attach a full path to this mp3 file. save this and we're gonna preview this and there's our mp3 you know I gotta add a space visually it's just not working for me I'm gonna move this table down slightly position this to the bottom now I work with tables uh, just because we need to do a really quick website if you wanna if you're working with CSS that's great you know it's just a preference of, uh, of what you need to get done and how fast you want to do it. Can you show? Get lost. Why are you so wet on your ass? Go. Nice. It looks looks much better. Except it bumped it up again. Well, let's try playing this. Okay, we got the link working. Now we need to make sure that it plays automatically when somebody comes to the page. At Active, we want to make sure that you're taken care of. So what we did is we started this new section on our corporate site under our articles called Video Workshops and Tutorials. This is where you're going to find a lot of the tutorials that we have and a lot of the scripts and files that you require to make all these changes on your website. You don't have to use them they're there for you as a resource you can open them up modify them it's all free we do it for you so here you can see the code that we need is within this article how do I embed an mp3 to play automatically when the web page loads so now I will click on this blog or the article and I will get a description of what it does click here to download we'll give you all of the resource files I've opened it up right here is the tutorial and step one two three first step copy the following script between your head and head section of the HTML document so we're gonna take this and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it into the head of our document now you gotta make sure you do this in the split view or the code view so let's switch to code view and go all the way to the top and we're gonna paste it right under our script text right in here. So let's back to the split view. Now what we want to do is we want to go and add the stop music and the replay button. If you actually looked at the code, it's going to right away load the mp3 when a person comes in. But when that happens, we still want the person to be able to pause the music because it's going to get annoying. So let's go get our buttons. You will find them in the same notepad document 
and step two and three. Step two, same deal, we'll copy this, switch back, find the area that you want to paste into. We're going to post this right in here. And if you press paste, it's going to display the code. So this isn't correct. You need to paste within the code view. And if you click on here, now you got your stop music button. The next thing we want to do is paste the replay button. And again, it's in here. We're going to give it a couple of spaces and we're paste this. And there we go. Now let's save this and preview it. Now what should happen is that the audio should play right away. And then if we press pause or stop, it should stop. If you press replay, it will replay. There you go. There you go. So you don't have to be a developer. You just have to know about ActiveTVNetworks.com. Go to our website, articles section under video tutorials. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to match the color scheme of our website and get rid of this mp3. Now if you ever want to assign images to this, you simply attach an image source instead of the instead of the text. Go to images and then look for a button. So we're going to drag this in here and we need to copy the entire image source tag. Place the replay with this image source. And now, what the system did, if you press zero on the border, it's gonna take away those pesky blue lines around the images. And an extra tip always remember to add an alt and a title tag to your images for extra optimization. Now if you go and preview this, the button will no longer and click it, it will work. Ho ho ho! There is your tutorial. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can catch me on ActiveTVNetworks.com. Uh, I will try and get to everybody's responses, although I only do these tutorials when I have uh, something to do. Like right now, you know, I did this page. Um, because my guys can get to it as they're working on other platforms. I hope you enjoy the rest of our tutorials. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, stay safe, happy, and this is